Welcome to this Solid Edge podcast, bringing you quick and easy tips and tricks from the experts. It's standard practice these days to derive a bill of materials on a 2D drawing from a 3D assembly model. But did you know, since Solid Edge ST3, it's possible to drive the item numbers from the 3D assembly while you design. In this tip, I'm joined by Kyla Ruder to show you how. Thanks Russ. What we want to show you is how you can take your assembly and drive the item numbers inside of your bomb. So in other words, you can organize how you want your bomb to look at from an item number standpoint and put those into your draft file. So to do this, one, you'll see that if you go into the occurrence properties of your assembly, you'll see that there's not a column in there for item numbers. So where do we go turn that on? Well, it's underneath your Solid Edge options, and you'll see an item numbers tab. And inside of here, you'll be able to tell Solid Edge that you want the assembly to drive the item numbers. And <clears throat> which item number do you want to start with? You can change that, how you want to increment it. That all be driven inside of uh, here. And you can go back to your current properties and see that those item numbers are there. And you can also come in here and change that to a different number but if one is conflicting we're going to tell you that and you will not be able to make any kind of changes you have to make sure that all that information is truly saved and you're not going to mess anything up and so the other thing that it gives you the ability to do is that whenever you uh, select a item inside of your assembly so now you can have a nice PMI dimension being placed out onto that particular part so we're going to go ahead and now go back to our draft file and simply update our views and take a look at our uh, bill of materials now and that we want to switch it from the draft driving the item numbers to now the assembly is going to be driving the, uh, the item numbers inside of here and we also want to take a look at uh, indenting this information rather than having it uh, be centered we can indent it and you can easily see how you can take your assembly have them drive the information inside of the draft file and you can simply go back um, and forth to see the difference between the two and you'll notice that uh, once we select that you can easily go back and switch and you can see how easy it is to configure your bill of material the way you want to uh, inside of Solid Edge Draft. So we thank you. Thanks for the tip, Kyle. To learn more, go to Siemens.com forward slash Solid Edge or call your local Solid Edge channel partner.